diseases and its impact. Introduction In our organs or tissues, there are various specialized activities going on. The heart is beating, the lungs are breathing, the kidney is filtering urine, the brain is thinking. All these activities are interconnected. For example, if the kidneys are not filtering urine, poisonous substances will accumulate. Under such conditions, the brain will not be able to think properly. For all these interconnected activities, energy and raw material are needed from outside the body. In other words, food is a necessity for cell and tissue functions. Anything that prevents proper functioning of cells and tissues will lead to a lack of proper activity of the body, causing a disease. Disease and its causes When there is a disease, either the functioning or appearance of one or more systems of the body will change for the worse. These changes give rise to symptoms and signs of disease. Symptoms of disease are the things we feel as being wrong. So, we have a headache, we have a cough, we have loose motions, we have a wound with pus. These are all symptoms. Acute and chronic diseases Some disease last for only very short periods of time and these are called acute disease. We all know from experience that the common cold lasts only for a few days. Other ailments can last for a long time even as much as a lifetime, and are called chronic diseases. An example is the infection causing elephantiasis, which is very common in some parts of India. Chronic diseases Any disease that causes poor functioning of some part of the body will affect our general health as well. This is because all functions of the body are necessary for general health. If we get infected with a chronic disease such as tuberculosis of the lungs, then being ill over the years does make us lose weight and feel tired all the time. Chronic diseases, therefore, have very drastic long-term effects on people's health as compared to acute